Hello, welcome back to Auto Pop Culture. Today we're going over Disclosure's third album called Energy. So, I love Disclosure. I kind of got into them lately in their first song, or first album, Settle. And I think it was nice and I listened to it, but it was, there were some repetitive pieces in it and I felt like they're still trying to find their notes and pieces, but it wasn't, they weren't that far off. So it's like, this is really good, I can't wait for more. Two, day, two years later, they come out with um, Carousel. And, oh my god, I thought I was losing my shit. I played that album so many times, over and over and over and over again. Like, I still play pieces of it to this day. Um, so, coming into this third album of Energy, which is, they had a one before called Ecstasy, which was an EP giving you a, a taste of the, of what Energy is going to bring, and I felt like that definitely was giving you more of a, more of an African beat kind of sound, and I was really, really excited, and I was like, okay, it's just nice, like, we're definitely going, it seems like we're doing a thing where it's like, each album has its own little thing, you know, or sound, and so you are, they seem like to be, they're always reinventing themselves in some way, or trying different sounds for different albums, and I think it's so cool, and it keeps me, I feel like it keeps me so invested. So, in this... I pretty much, I pretty much like it all, like, it does get, it, I didn't know that it was 11 songs technically, I thought that it was, I thought it was the full on, um, 18 song. well, 20 songs, I think, because plus the two remixes, so, I'm pretty much gonna do the f 11, if you wanna see my other side of what I think about the rest of it on the deluxe, Check out my video that I did um, with the EP. I have it posted somewhere, so just go and find it or something like that. I still haven't figured out how to do that little thing where you put it on the top. So, um, also, if anybody wants to throw that tip to me, please let me know. Um, so, anyway, so I do like this album. I think it's really nice. I think it's, I listen to it, it's very easy to listen to. Could throw out the whole thing. There's no, Song that's too long, there's no song that's too short. Well, there are some songs that are too short, and I wish it could go a little bit longer, but I understand that for the whole vibe of it, it needs to be one way. Um, so let me tell you about my my favorite song. So I love, I love Watch Your Step featuring Khalees. I love the fact that they started up the album with Khalees. She is an under underrated dance uh, vocalist. She is an underrated vocal, like underrated start dance vocalist. The the fact that they only, I in fact only seen like maybe like a couple songs of her featured in in, in like EDM tracks or or dance tracks. It's so disrespectful. <laughs> like I I feel like it's it's her and Kelly Rowland. Like I don't know why no one thought like let's pick them up fully and have them do more dancey stuff because that like I mean, their R and B stuff kills. Like it's amazing, but. They are so versatile, it's ridiculous. It's it's a shame, it's a crime to not add them more and give them to add more to that potential. Anyway, but this definitely did it. Like, this definitely did, this song was amazing. I can see this, this is easily a song you can kind of dance to on and on. Um, I love the breakbeat sound that they were going on with. I think it's really nice. Um, Lavender featuring Channel, or Chanel, or Channel Tress, or Chanel Tress. I don't know how he's pronouncing it, but he has the sexiest voice as I ever, sexiest voice I ever came across. Oh my god, his voice is so sexy. And his, I love the fact that the whole, the song is called Lavender, but he doesn't really, they don't really mention anything about Lavender to the very, very end. He's like, is that Lavender? I like Lavender. It was just like, oh my god, I, I was, I thought it was so, I thought it was hilarious. And I also thought the whole song, which is, it was sexy. The beat was constant in the best way. I love it. Um, My High featuring uh, Slow Tie and um, Emini. Emani? Emini? Emini? I love this song. Love this song. This is my... I have to... Yes, yes. This is my favorite song off the album. Completely. This is a, The single came out. I thought it was amazing. I listened to the short version first. And then I listened to the full version, and that was so much better. So much, like, not that there was anything different, one was longer than the other one, but it was, the whole vibe was so more understood with the full version. Um, Slow Tie, amazing, he's amazing. Um, Amity, I literally have an album ready to review, so get ready for that sometime. And 
I just love this. He's so fucking, he just has the, cur just, ah, he just has it. He has it, Slow that Ty has it. They decide to go, you know what, let's do a song, let's do an album together. I would die. I would die. I'd be the first one to review it, too. Um, Who Knew, featuring um, Mick, um, Mick Jen Jenkins. Oh, yeah, Mick Jenkins. I love this song, too. I love how smooth it is. I love that we slowed it down after my high. Kind of chill you out a bit. Um, yeah, so, I, and it's pretty much, like, I think this song's about this guy that wants to kind of show that he's, he can do better, but he also don't want to hold her back if she doesn't want to stay. Um, I think it's really nice. I love the two-step production. I think it's really nice. I'm actually, like, brought myself back into the production of two-step, because when I was, because when it did start happening, I was too young to kind of get it. I liked the sound when I was younger, but I didn't get what was the history of it, so now I have the history of it as an adult, I appreciate it even more. Um, oh, I'm not going to pronounce this right. Say, say not pass, say, say not pass, um, featuring Black Posse, um, I, or Posse, or Passe, Passe, Bassy, um, or Big, ba uh, Blake Bassy, I wrote that weird. Um, he's a Cameroonian artist, and I love this song too. I really like the sound of this. I think the sound is really nice. I love production. I didn't really understand the lyrics, but I appreciate, but I really love the production. And I love his voice too. He really just, the, they really picked people that can really flow with their productions. Um, energy, of course. I love energy. I feel like it's so, it's based, it's, the voice is coming from the, um, Eric Thompson, who's a preacher slash, uh, motivated speaker on YouTube, or who, Got, who went viral hugely on YouTube, and pretty much just his vocals in it. And he, I didn't really know this, but did you know that he was the same voice or same vocals on When the Fire Starts to Burn? Um, I, I felt like that's kind of cool, a little shout out to the beginning kind of thing. Um, Reverie featuring Common. Common is legendary. Legendary. Like, the way that he's, the way that he raps, the way he just speaks, it's always, it's a toes a line between, um, I feel like it's turns a line between, um, slam poetry and just rapping. Like, it just, he just flow, uh, he just flows. I just, I cannot, I'm such a huge fan of him. Anyway, I digress. And then we go into, that's pretty much the, the actual album, but we go into the other ones like Ecstasy, Tondo, um, Expressing What Matters. And those ones, like, I do like, and once again, you can check them out in my e in the EP review I did. Um, and then it ends with um, the two Khalid um, collabs that he they did with Khalid. Um, so this is with um, Know Your Worth and Talk. I didn't really care for Talk. I like the sound of Talk, but I feel like it goes on for a while. I'm just like, I get it, you know. But Know Your Worth is, uh, that, that one's just beautiful. Um, I give this album a 8 out of 10, I, uh, yes, yes, an 8 out of 10, that's the first thing that came, uh, my feeling that what came to mind, I feel like it's not as, I feel like it's not as cool, it's not amazing, it, I still find, I still put the idea, I, I put it in the order of Carousel first, then, um, Disclosure, then settle, or disclosure, then energy does settle. I feel like that's how my order is going on at this moment. Um, but I do appreciate the fact that they changed their sound, and not that their sound was boring or anything before, but they add, like, I like that the fact that they add different sounds or change different sounds in each album. I think it's really cool. Leave a comment below, tell me what you thought. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification, a let jazz. And I will see you all in the next video.